Somebody in chat the other day asked how to have skills that unlock the more you use other skills. And the example that they gave was, you know, what if you needed to use fire a certain amount of times and then you unlocked fire too on that character. And this is uh, seemingly pretty easy. We're gonna give it a run here and see if we can create this real quick. I think there's a couple different ways we could do it, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So let's go ahead and go into the database here. Let's real quick, who's our magic user in the RTP? Probably Casey. What skills does Casey learn? She is a sorcerer. Right, okay. So they can use the magic skills. So let's go to a common event. And this is something I was working on for another video. We'll use this another time. Let's call this, let's just call this, I guess, learning fire two. And in learning fire two, we want to control variables. This common event is going to run when we add or every time we use fire. So whenever fire is used, we want it to add one to a variable. Now let's just call it fire used. We want to add one to that variable. We want a conditional branch that will check whenever this runs. So whenever you use fire, it's going to check. Okay, we used fire again. If fire is equal to, let's just say five for the sake of not having to do it like 3000 times. If fire is used five times, then we want to show text. Congratulations, you've learned fire too. Not the most interesting flavor text, I understand, but you know, it is what it is. And then what we'll do is we'll change skill and uh, who it was Casey, I believe. And Casey is then going to learn somewhere in here. Here we go, fire too. It's named differently than I have it named in the text, but we'll fix that here in just a second. Let's go to skills and I'd rather, I think the Roman numerals look nicer but we're gonna go ahead and just change this to fire two, just for the sake of consistency and it, it makes a little more sense. Now under our fire one skill, let's just name this to fire, under effects, we want to call this common event learning fire two. And basically, basically the way this is gonna work is whenever we use fire, it's gonna call the common event learning fire two. When it calls that common event, it's gonna add one to the amount of fires that we've used to that variable. If that variable is equal to five, so if we get to the fifth one, it's gonna say, congratulations, you've learned fire two. And then it's going to give Casey fire two. Okay, I think that will work. Let's see if we can find an RTP enemy that has enough health, the high monster, where we can survive long enough to test this out. Let's just try surviving right now. Let's do Casey. None, 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 none. Okay. Good luck, Casey. Oh, we most certainly do not have enough health for that. Let's go to the sorcerer class and let's just level one value. We'll change it to 9999 just for the time being. Also, we have this character's special flag for auto battle, which we don't want. Now let's try this again. Now she's got 9999 health and we're going to see what happens when we use fire two several times. So fight fire there's one there's two three four and five congratulations you've learned fire two and now when we go to skills we got fire two and it's just that easy just that easy so it works great there's probably a few things you could account for i don't know things get a little more complicated when you have multiple characters that can learn the same skills but outside of that and and there is way there are ways to handle that but outside of that this actually works great